Good afternoon. I would like to take a few moments and share with you why we've taken an important legal action today. As I hope it goes without saying, staff and student safety remain a top priority. The Virginia Attorney General is continuing to investigate the issue of notifications to FCPS high school students regarding national merit commendations. As we announced several months ago last winter, we retained a law firm to conduct an independent investigation of that issue and to prepare a privileged report of their findings. We released a high-level summary of key fact findings from that report to the public. As noted in the summary, the independent investigation found no evidence of inequity or bias and no evidence that FCPS deliberately withheld any student notifications. However, even before the law firm investigation was completed, we learned of inconsistencies in how the notification process was managed at our individual high schools. To address this, we developed and have now put in place a regulation standardizing the notification process at all of our schools. The Attorney General recently filed a petition in Fairfax County Circuit Court seeking to subpoena these privileged records. Today, we filed papers in court opposing the Attorney General's petition because we strongly feel this is unjustified. Various FCPS teachers and staff were interviewed as part of this independent investigation. We owe it to them to do everything we can to protect their privacy and personal security. As the Attorney General knows, multiple FCPS staff members have been harassed and threatened over this issue. We have specifically alerted the Attorney General to this concern and described the severity of the threats. Despite these concerns, the Attorney General is now seeking to require public disclosure of the law firm's privileged investigative report and related details. As we have already shared thousands of documents related to this issue, the Attorney General's office has all the facts it needs to complete its investigation. What the Attorney General is seeking to do would put our teachers and staff at risk, which we simply cannot accept. It's also important for me to point out that we must think about the bigger picture. Turning over these privileged materials to the Attorney General would set a troubling precedent and could undermine the willingness of others to cooperate with similar inquiries in the future. Our views on this issue are further explained in a statement from the Division issued today, which has been posted to our website. Let me end by saying we appreciate the incredible work each of you do each day to support our students and families. We must remain focused on our primary mission of ensuring that each and every one of our students can excel in our classrooms and in our community. Thank you.